I mean, they came over, you know, of course, you could tell that they were upset when they got here. Um, and, she, you know, he first, at first told us that, you know, that they were going out of town, could we feed the cat? Because Joey's uh, helicopter went down. And I didn't get it at first. And then, you know, just to, then looked at him and I was like, what? And then she, he said that, you know, their helicopter went down, crashes, six of them. And I was like, just shocked. I mean, there, and she said, you know, of course, they said they've cried, they've, you know, fought, they've, you know, haven't slept. I mean, they're just so distraught. And, you know, it's very sad because he even said that, you know, they have 35 years, they've been married, and they finally really started getting along real good. And, and you know, some tragedy has, like this has to happen, you know, to, in the family. It's just very difficult. Just a hardworking individual, uh, a hero. What all do you, I mean, you've, you've known them for how long now? Uh, probably about 10 years, uh, off and on, whenever he came in. Uh, didn't know him that much when he was a little bit younger, but when he came in, just a, just a good uh, good person. What, did he talk about the military much or tell you what he was doing or what uh, kind of stuff he was doing? Not really, just excited about doing it. Uh, just uh, not, not really sure what all he did, uh, but I know he was planning on re-enlisting, so after he got through with this term. Sad. You hear something Thursday night, six six uh, Marines, and the next thing you know, it's your neighbor. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of heartfelt. I mean, I uh, if it was my son, I I don't know what I'd do. That's a that's a tough situation. Uh, terrible. <clears throat>